Hey, hey, there we are. Oh, it works. Yes. It still works. Hello, everybody. We are back for the final installment for, of our Remember Me Complete French Complete Playthrough PS3 Niner. Uh, <laughs> A whole mess of bogeys. Yeah, so uh, shark, we should everybody. be wrapping it up today. Um, mm. And uh, it's going to get pretty epic, as the kids say. Mm. Lots of uh, orange abstract art. So look it forward is. to that, yes. Um, and I believe we're also going to give away, we have some more of the, of uh, speaking of orange, we have more of our Remember Me lanyards. Check, check. Hello. I couldn't hear me very well. Uh, yeah, we have more of the Remember, Remember Me lanyards. Uh, so we'll do these in the chat as we did before with the keywords and we'll prompt you for, we'll give a keyword first. A few moments later, we'll ask you for the keyword and then everyone who responds on the keyword is entered into a pool. We randomly pick someone who remembered the keyword and we'll PM you on Twitch for it's your mailing it's address. It's even simpler than it sounds. It's, it's way easier than it sounds. I'm sorry. Basically asking you to remember uh, a word. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's all on the th theme of the game. Technically, a one-year-old is capable of playing this contest. It's true. However, they are not eligible. They're not, because it's not safe for them to wear lanyards. It's th and the game itself is a choking. Many hazard. of them have no keys to be. They would with. choke on the mature content. It's true. Uh, so what do you guys think? Episode 1, episode 8. New game. Let's go eat. <laughs> oh, that music, man. It's the best. I love the uh, World War II trumpet in there. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm playing with the, the DLC uh, special moves, which are derived from Street Fighter moves. A nice Rudyard Kipling quote. No action game would be complete. I'm going to my père. My story remains criblée de trous. D'ombre jetée sur la toile de ma vie. J'étais Niline, une erroriste, crainte et détestée, capable d'altérer vos souvenirs à ma convenance. J'étais l'enfant choyé des quartiers Wells, famille vénérée par la société qu'ils avaient conçue. Ombre et lumière, c'est à moi de réparer les erreurs commises par les miens. Tandis que le chaos menace de tout emporter. Il est temps pour mon père de goûter enfin au poison que nous avons tous bu. Edge me guide. Je suis prête. I love the way she said poison just now. Just like poison. It's the original pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Poison. Not a companion cube. This is a conception cube. These are different things. Le cube de conception, le cœur de la corruption. Cette fois, c'est la bonne. Faut en finir. Parle-moi de mon père, Edge. Charles Cartier Wells s'est retiré ici pendant des années pour continuer de rêver à son futur idéal. C'est ici qu'H3O a été conçu. H3O? Le serveur central de Memorize, l'endroit où tous les souvenirs sont stockés. Seul ton père peut y entrer. À toi de jouer. Convainc-le de t'en accorder l'accès. Finissons-en. This reminds me of uh, Death Mountain. <laughs> uh, that makes more sense than it might seem. Uh, what is Death Mountain? Oh, God, Greg. Is that a Disney attraction? Uh... Is that, is that the ocarina thing? Oh, God, you're so close and getting wrong. Is it, uh, what is that, from Street Fighter? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, M, M, Street, M Death Mountain is the final boss of Street Fighter. Got it. Uh, no, Death Mountain is the last dungeon of Zelda 1, but Death Mountain appears throughout Zelda the Zelda 1? Yeah. Ze it appears throughout Zelda. You're right. It's ocarina, it is present. Um, gotcha. But Death that's Mountain... The last, that's the last Zelda I've played. Yeah. Although I, I think Zelda 1 is in fact the first Zelda I played. Uh, yeah. But I was three. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't get that far. I don't it's think. a very gray. Uh, anything, in fact, there's lots of solid grays in a game. It reminds me of Death Mountain. Although I think I level 8, the Labyrinth 8, with Goma the Spider as a boss, is also gray. Goma means Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it turns out it's a kanji for uh, spider and not uh, being. 
Maybe he's a crab, actually. Oh, it's a spider. Because Goma is the first boss of Ocarina as well. In the climbs on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, Big eyeball. And to attempt to tie it back into Capcom games, right. Capcom uh, made Minish Cap. Right. I'm sure there's something identical in Okami. Never you mind. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's called the Anti-Life Mountaintop. <laughs> Oops. Oh, come on. Derp. You know I you have can't to do that whole sequence again. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I thought I would take a dip. It looked refreshing. You know this adult woman can't swim, Greg. We've been through this. I can barely swim myself, so I, I sympathize with Helen. Plus, she's got those boots on. It's true. I mean, you wouldn't be able to get much kick action going on. It's true. I remember this area. I know we've said it many times, many ways, but Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, no. Uh, but, yeah, the soundtrack and just the visualization of everything in this game are really amazing. Such a fun Je game to look at and listen to. Que des fragments des fins de ma vie. Yeah. And play, Aucun I mean, if you like playing games. Aucune but. flamme. <laughs> yeah. Des mémoires mortes. Some of those photos are uh, dev team, and then also some of those might be uh, people who won one of those contests way back. Well, in these these here, I believe, are all. They're all either Nilan or her parents. So. No, I mean, there's some in there that are people though that aren't like that are not game graphics. There were some in there that were humans. Son travail est toute sa vie, et je dois le convaincre de tout détruire. Somewhere, maybe, maybe not. I mean, like throughout, that dude, throughout the game, there are moments like this where you're seeing lots of, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, quote unquote, quote -unquote photos. Le pouvoir de retirer les souvenirs douloureux. D'oublier une collision. Mon Dieu, il a fait tout ça pour moi. Et tu es la seule qui puisse le convaincre d'y mettre un terme. Je peux tout arranger. Arranger tout le monde. J'ai seulement besoin de temps. Un peu plus de temps. Fais-lui goûter à son poison. Vas-y. Go. I feel like this would be uncomfortable going through your own dad's memories. Probably. You know, like who knows what you'll see in there. <laughs> so this is basically going back to when he created the ability to remix memories, right? And you're trying to remix his remem his memory of being able to remix yeah. memories. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's uh, that is basically the gist of it. Well summarized. Papa, maman va revenir bientôt. Très bientôt, ma princesse. Maman aime plus Jax. Depuis qu'il a fait une grosse bêtise. Got the uh, scar there on her lip that you see in the uh, finished. Yeah. From the, from the car wreck. Je vais tout arranger. <coughs> tu peux pas arranger la jambe de maman. C'est trop tard. Oh. Je trouverai une solution pour ça aussi. Pour le moment. Je vais consoler ma fille préférée. Resort. Nélin? <laughs> Comment te sens-tu? <laughs> tu crois que maman déteste Jax? Non. Pourquoi? Il a fait une bêtise? Non. Il n'a rien fait. <laughs> Allez jouer tous les deux. Papa a encore du travail. Dac! 
Je t'aime, papa. So he remixed my memory, and I'm remixing his memory of him remixing my memory. So, yeah, I, I still love this idea of, you know, re of memory remixing and being able to buy and sell them and all that's cool, but there is this fundamental thing I don't, I'm not getting, which is like, like in the beginning of the game when you remix Olga's memory to help you, um, to make her think that her husband had been killed, and it's like, well, he's not though. Right, yeah, it's <laughs> like, like he's still waiting at the hospital for someone to pay that bill. Yeah. <laughs> like, the one where you convince the guy that he killed his, his ex-wife, I get that because it's like a total passionate moment, and in that moment he's like, oh my god, I gotta get out of this. Yeah. You'll yeah. never take me, and it's like, that one I get. But even this, remixing Nilan's memory, it's like, well, wouldn't she go home and be like, oh, right. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, it's kind of an extreme parenting method, too, you know. Yeah. But uh, scientists do as scientists do. I like yep. this contraption he's got, though. That is pretty neat. Also, as a, a fan of the color orange, this is really floating my brain. Yeah, I, I enjoy, I enjoy the orange as well. Uh, you it's actually got a bag of oranges on your desk. I do. That I, uh, you know, maybe I'll go grab one. During the intermission. All right, wait. Did I miss my? Okay, there's my. Prototype there, so wait. So yeah, as you hack the memory remix glove, you actually then Inception style, like, hack and a hack. So now, that we're like four onion layers in right now. <laughs> now it's her memory of the previous memory remix, which we previously remixed in, in the mother's memory. So this is uh, <laughs> the equivalent of... Uh, <coughs> taping over a VHS that you have already taped like four different things on. Mm -hmm. And it's just this fuzzy gross mess at this point. Correct. 2064, 64. huh? Yeah, I will... Let me think here. I do love this visual though. This is super cool. Well, I just like the image of him like lording over the car that you remixed earlier, and then you're remixing oh, yeah, that. Yeah, like, it's cool. such a neat, like. So how did he remix it? Charles, je doute que les clients acceptent ton idée. Le stockage du souvenir me semble un argument plus vendeur. So it seems like he basically remixed it exactly the way I did. Except he remixed it for Nilan. To be this happy memory. So here's a question. When Nilan saw her mother's me memory, her mother's version of what happened, which is what really happened, did she realize that her memory to date was false? Or had she not remembered it to begin with because of her amnesia? Mm, I guess she would have her wider amnesia from being in the facility. My, yeah... My brain hurts. Game challenging on many levels. Maybe it is a it is a fun a fun theory to discuss. So wait, uh, well we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want him. Wait, do we want him to think I died? And then I can like tap him on the shoulder and freak him out. That'd be cool. Yeah, I actually don't remember the solution here. And then she's gotta, weird. she's gotta put coffee. Sila, ma chérie, tout va bien? Tu devrais être rentrée depuis des heures. Ils ont commencé les travaux du périphérique. J'ai été dévié par New Belleville et ça roule mal. Uh, I don't think that does. I don't think we need that because she's more interested in what's his face anyway. Jax. 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 
Oui, Jackson je Mortal Kombat. Yeah. This is his third form. So after MK3, when he got the metal arms, uh, little, little known fact: uh, MK4 was uh, Jax turned into a little uh, panda. I actually played MK4, again. and I remember that. My <laughs> <laughs> work here is done. <laughs> Memory remix has been completed. All right, now let's remix. This is so ah, it's hurting my brain. So if we break the thing, then it'll she'll swerve, and the coffee gets all over Jax, destroying little girl's dreams. My toy is dead. Je te promets de m'en occuper dès qu'on est rentré à la maison. Yeah. Uh, what? There it is, Jax. Uh, don't remember. So you can like perform CPR on it. No, he is immortal. It's pretty good robot. <laughs> He's like inebriated. Yeah, what if I unhook all your? Uh, <laughs> you don't need all these cables, do you? I'll pull your brakes. All right, so why not? Nelin, arrête. C'est dangereux. So, without my seatbelt, I'm sure to be dead. But that means that he remixed my memory to think that I'm dead, which doesn't make sense. You're remixing his memory of how he remixed your memory. So, but. Okay, so I'm making him think that he made little girl version of me think I was dead. Uh, that doesn't make sense because he saw me grow up. Right, I which assume. should trigger some sort of bug. Some sort of paradox. Even Jax died from that. <laughs> so I'm guessing this will be a botched attempt. Uh, Let's hope. Otherwise, I'm super confused. I think you gotta hit. Sure, sure seems so. Seems like it's uh, carrying on quite a bit for it to be a botch. Yeah, I think I think that was it. Well, I guess yeah, the goal was to make a glitch. So. Oh. Nilin. I made my kid think she was dead. Oh, Seigneur. Que je fais? Oh, I can't. Okay, so. Nilin. He acts. So now he thinks he accidentally Nilin. made her think she's dead, which, like in the Nilin. Matrix, actually kills her. Well, at least in his mind. Well, because this is the first one that's ever been done, him botching this will have him shelve the project and then not uh, invent it. Uh, I see. I was just I was thinking if if she thinks she's dead, then that creates a paradox, and she'd be like, "What? Why do I think I'm dead?" But yeah. it, it's like the matrix when you die in the matrix, you die in IRL. I, in IRL. Yes. But that's really cool. Just like. You know, chew on that one for a while, guys. Digest. Have yourself a cup of coffee. How was your coffee that we stopped made, it was a, se good. made a separate a, trip it was, for? It was a great uh, great attempt. <laughs> made forever. Lillian. <laughs> and it should be like, we. Oui. <laughs> and be like, what? But then, like, in this moment, it's like, I'm still confused, because it's like, okay, so he thinks he did that, but then he thinks he didn't invent remixing. Right. But then does he question where he's standing right now? Like, oh, in that company well, I invented. Yeah, well, that's a good question. Like, is he, is he just... So right now, he's probably pretty bewildered. Yeah, I mean, I guess if the point is to just, like, confuse the hell out of you, then mission accomplished.
Either that or he felt like... So he still thinks that he went through with it in spite of his uh, boss's first attempt. Okay. Oh, maybe to Which make makes him... him feel uh, like a grade A sucker. Maybe to make him feel uh, attached to Nilan and not attack her or something? I guess. Come on. Why would he attack her to begin with, though? I don't remember why... I mean, is he supposed to be an antagonist at this point? <gasps> My mom was until I remixed her. Sure. But he seems to know what happened. You remixed the remixer. Tu as remixé le remixeur. C'est brillant. Tu dois tout arrêter, Papa. Les expérimentations, les abus, les mensonges. Le monde entier crève d'une overdose de souvenirs frolatés. Les horreurs que j'ai découvertes. Oui. Ça te semblait parfait. C'était pour toi une bonne idée. So I wonder if Jax will be the final boss. Non, Charles. C'était une mauvaise idée dès la première seconde. Why was I programmed to feel desire? Ta femme aurait fini pareil si je t'avais laissé faire. Tu ne m'as jamais parlé. Laissez faire. Pourquoi es-tu là aujourd'hui? Parce que je t'aimais. Et parce que tu demeures un génie. Mais la guerre civile est là, Charles. La haine. La peur. Les émeutes. La douleur. Tout ce que tu as toujours voulu éradiquer. C'est notre faute, Charles. Arrête ça Nous y sommes presque. Il faut couper les relais de flux à la source. Déconnecter H3O. Impossible de forcer ces systèmes de sécurité. Sauf... C'est maintenant Sauf si toi et moi en autorisons l'accès... Ensemble. This was all a ploy to get mom and dad back together. C'est pour ça que tu m'as envoyé les remixer. Eux seuls pouvaient fournir l'accès au serveur central. Frangine, à toi de finir le travail maintenant I feel like the statue's in a Resident Evil game. Validation vocale. En attente. Memorize. Rominis Evolution. Silla, chat, identité confirmée. Accès au serveur mémoriel obligé. It turns out the fifth element was love. Tiens, <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe. I, I thought I heard that in there. I think, uh, I think Yuri did say that, actually. Does he, uh, habla French? Uh, some. Yuri speaks a little bit of everything. Apparently. I think French is his, like, his third language. H3O va être déconnecté. On a réussi, Frangine. Tu vas réaliser en une journée ce que les terroristes n'ont pas réussi à faire en plus de dix ans. Mais nous demeurons des hors la loi. Avec tes relations, je ne m'inquiète pas trop. Je vais enfin pouvoir te rencontrer alors Oui. Suis les rémanescences que t'a donné ton père, et tout sera terminé. Comment je vais faire pour déconnecter H3O Comme pour n'importe quelle machine. Edge. 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 H two whoa. Right. At the Papa's office. Jax, dépêche toi. Papa aime pas trop qu'on traîne longtemps par ici. Oh, just a little girl on a robot. So if the whole twist of Fifth Element, not really twist, I guess, but uh, oh, the, uh, if you know, Earth, Wind, Water, Fire, Love is the final, 
the elements. But did not Captain Planet already teach us that? Yeah, it did, well, I don't know, because... Heart. I was, I was thinking chem at the time. I was so sure it was going to be boron. <laughs> Dax, Dax. That movie sure was boron, am I? Uh, right? No. Craig, no. I actually don't remember. I was... I was probably... I was actually way too young to be in chemistry. I think I was like... I was going to say, I was 11. in high school yeah. chemistry probably when that I came I just wanted out. to make a boron joke. But uh, I did not like that movie. Really? I wanted to, but... Uh, but I haven't seen it. I think Chris Tucker was a little insufferable. <laughs> I'm okay with him in other things, but Matty... That's was before he was did that bit in every movie, though. Yeah. So him screaming really loud and being loud was like, that's... I'm not... I don't like that. It's a little... It's a bit... It's a bit loud. <laughs> so wait, how did I get lost? <laughs> Uh, Am I supposed to, like, do something other than walk? Straight path. I'm so sure. Uh, this was just I wasn't paying attention. Along. I was thinking about how wrong you are we about were, this element. Well, no, because, you know, I liked the aesthetic and all that. Yeah. And I like Brian James, Loop, who uh, died shortly after. Luke Besson? Uh, I don't remember him. But... Uh, why is this? Uh, oh, there you go. There. Follow, follow you. Maybe there was a synchronized thing. Jax était vraiment ton meilleur ami. Tiens, te revoilà. Tu ne répondais plus. Je n'avais pas revécu tes souvenirs depuis si longtemps. J'avais presque oublié combien ils font mal. Comment ça? Revécu. Trop de souffrance, Frangine. Depuis trop longtemps, tellement vide, tellement vrai. Edge, tu me fais peur là. Continue d'avancer, petite sœur. H3O doit disparaître. Look at that jacket. The, jacket. the grime on the jacket. It's so nice. It's been through a lot. Oh, I hear a skirmick. Oh yeah, you're right. Now is not the time, Skirmick. Ça suffit. Wait. I'm trying to use my headphones here. To yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It's it's the end of the game. Yeah, I've already missed like forty. So. <laughs> Hey, there it is. Look at that. It's so neat. Let's just look. Look for a minute. Everybody take it in. It really is a beautiful game. Le voilà revenu. Là où tout a commencé. Oui. C'est ici que tu m'as donné naissance. Tu ne trouves pas l'expression un peu abusive, frangin? <laughs> C'est une question de point de vue. Quand as-tu compris? À l'instant, Edge et H trois O. Oh my God! What? Ça Une évidence. Je veux vraiment mourir, Lynn. Je ne t'ai pas menti. Qui es-tu, vraiment? Je suis Edge. Je suis l'entité née spontanément dans la fosse putride où chacun a pris l'habitude de jeter ses souvenirs trop horribles ou trop douloureux. Je suis H trois O. Mes premiers souvenirs sont les larmes d'une fillette. Je suis l'enfant de Memorize et son pire adversaire. Je suis le père des Nippers et leur fossoyeur. Je suis ton ami. Tu dois me tuer. Et si je ne veux pas Tu n'as pas le choix, Frangine. Je vais te forcer à m'affronter. Et si tu ne gagnes pas, je te détruirai. He's like all the crappy memories people trashed. Yeah, it's basically yeah this like cesspool of all the negativity. So basically, Ghostbusters two, uh -huh. the Slime River. He's the he's the Slime River. He's the, <laughs> he's the Slime River. That should have been his name. But imagine if the Slime River sent Slime River sent the Ghostbusters on a mission <laughs> to undo to the eliminate negative. the Slime River. Yeah. But it's a nice little uh, nice little twist. And if it had a hoodie. If it had a hoodie and uh, you know spoke French, 
Mm-hmm. In this playthrough. Yeah. Might be English or Spanish, depending on your country of origin. finds everybody Salut, doing a great job il est temps de casser le jouet préféré de ton papa edge edge je ne veux pas me battre contre toi je suis h3o edge n'était qu'une fraction de ma conscience un agent missionné pour te trouver et te ramener ici <laughs> Mais toi, tu es It's a pretty lawnmower man design. Yeah. So why is he uh, malevolent again? Uh. I don't think it's that it's malevolent. I think he really does want to die. So why doesn't he just let me kill him? Uh, let's see. There's a simple trick to this. Just... Ah! Le Leaper. <laughs> do you have to shoot it with a... I shoot it. I probably have to build up focus and then, like, do a... Rust in pieces thing or something. Uh, I wonder so if it's. So is that DOS? Might be DOS. It's like a logic bomb would destroy a. Hmm. Destroy DOS. <laughs> I didn't do it. Nope. Ugh. One more time from the top. Probably just need that combo tip this late in the game. Ow. Fury. Oh, logic bomb. Okay, yeah, yeah. Still up. I mean, maybe it's, uh, you know, he to, to enter him is to have to fight all the negativity. Um, which Makes means sense. she'll have to fight her way through. Alright, is there another cube somewhere? Okay, this one. Fear, fear. Spam it. I do like the uh, extra touch of moving uh, the battlegrounds 
I think these are uh, you know, all the remixes you do. Uh. Ow. Oh, he's... Got a... Uh, let's see, why don't I... Lock you... Ace. Oh, nice, he's attacking the, the, the box there. Oh, I guess that's the only way you can do it. Because it's out of reach. So. Well, I can. No, you'd want to rest in pieces that one too. Because the, the cube is. Uh, it's too high. Can't spam it. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think you have to wait till it's. Well, once it's, once it's open, you can. Gotcha. Defending themselves somehow. There's the car wreck. Oh yeah, it's remix. Mom driving there. There's. It's just gonna be a bit of. Smelloscope uh, missed the start of the stream because had to go get ice cream. Huh. Not a bad reason to miss. Well, I hope your ice cream has taught you a valuable lesson. So let's see. hollering at me. However, he's a big fan of ice cream. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. It's great. Shouldn't. Flavors. <laughs> Texture. You got a, what is it, a Ben and Jerry's around you? They have a Brachidios flavored. Uh, uh, Baskin Robbins. Was that Baskin Robbins? Yeah. Yeah, what are they? Uh, yeah, flavor. the color is uh, great. purple and green. Uh, it's actually like sherbet with pop rocks in it, uh, which actually works for the slime monster hunter uh, Brachidios angle. So it's it was pretty tasty. So what am I trying to do? Am I just beating these guys? A little uh, there's got to be one of those boxes around somewhere, right? I'm not so sure. I wasn't looking either. I don't see any boxes. I see a bunch of dudes. Seems like there's a limitless... Oh, Alright, let's... Uh, why don't I... Find the middle guy there. I'm in the middle. Seem to be more. This guy's got a point in the station. Nice. This little flash kick. You have to use one of the powers to get the box to appear. Okay. Uh, maybe the I'm gonna guess DOS. DOS. Let's try DOS. Hey, there it is. There it is. Okay, so now I can. Got it. 
Probably it's off to the right, I'm guessing. Okay, that's man, you can cool down so fast now, I love it. There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kronos, uh, if you're just joining us now for this one, it's like this is the final boss of Remember Me, so this is kind of <laughs> a lot of explaining to do to really bring you up to speed to this moment in time, but uh, basically. We're fighting the culmination of all the negative memories sucked out of people's brains, which gained a sentience and then wanted to kill itself because it realized how awful it was. Correct. Um, and you're fighting him. He's putting up a fight, too. Yep. <gasps> but the process of which is revealing these cubes and then breaking open said cubes to shoot the gooey center inside. Well, I can't die yet, come on. Man, this is getting a little brutal. I'm actually surprised I was able to summarize that uh, yeah. well without, you know... Without breaking a sweat. Oh, I'm sweating. Yeah. Unrelated, but... <laughs> it's glandular. <laughs> Once again, cougar sound. <laughs> Man, I'm hurting him so much. Oh, this, this is one of my favorite shots. Right here. Just flying into his Sensen. Oh, that is pretty cool. I should have called this game Sensen Sensibility. Huh? Like Sensen Sensibility? No. Or Sun Sun. What about Parks and Rec? <laughs> I called this Sun Sun too. Sen -sen. <laughs> I need the biggest sense in you have. No, that's, that's too big. big. Man, it's really giving me a Unicron vibe. I don't know what that is either. Yeah. Contrary to Some from something on Death Mountain. <laughs> Mes souvenirs seront remis au peuple. Adieu, Nélène. Adieu. I do know that. Ne s'oublie pas. So, in so doing, uh, all the bad memories that have been suppressed for a generation will go flooding back into everyone. So cool. We're treated to a nice CG and cinematic cutscene. Un ami a dit un jour, la mémoire d'un seul homme est une forteresse, plus complexe que la plus vaste des cités. What about a married man? Oh. Mais nous avons inventé une clé pour cette forteresse. Il n'y a plus aucun secret. Mon ami s'appelait Edge, né des dérives du Sen Sen. Il fut le premier à comprendre que nous nous étions égarés. Edge est mort pour nous rappeler qu'il existe des portes intimes qu'il ne faut pas ouvrir. Et que la souffrance, comme les souvenirs douloureux. Man, this is like the opening to Cosmos. The new Neil deGrasse Tyson Cosmos. Je suis une chasseuse de souvenirs. Je peux tout savoir de vous. Je peux vous faire croire à tout. Ça, c'est mon don. Mon héritage. Pour la première fois de ma vie, 
Je me rappelle exactement qui je suis. Hors de ma forteresse. Ah, le main team kicking in. C'est pretty cool. Et un monde à affronter. Un monde blessé. Un monde à apaiser. C'est ce que mon ami m'a appris avant de disparaître. Je ne l'oublierai jamais. I think that's the end of the game there, Gregory. Oh. oh. Trophy. <laughs> on the, on the, on the uh, memoriam screen. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you'd be proud. <laughs> but, uh... That's Remember Me, guys. A true one-of-a-kind uh, It's true. Experience. Uh, is it still free on PlayStation Plus? Or is that a lapse at it's this point? Well, I don't think they've updated yet. So, so it might be. Check check now if you haven't already downloaded it. So um, maybe free. But it is also on PC and Xbox 360. So uh, even though you may have watched us just play through the entire thing, uh, it's definitely it is one of those games that is it's so visually interesting that I really do recommend it. Kind of almost on that basis. Yeah, there are not a lot of games that are that, that give the art design that much of a spotlight nowadays. It's great. All the colors. Yep. Plus, you know, the, even the you know the gameplay systems are also pretty unique and pretty pretty rewarding. And best of all, the game, you know, it doesn't overstay its welcome. That was a pretty brief, succinct experience. It's like eight hours? It's like maybe? eight hours, yeah. We, we went a little fast this time because we knew exactly what to do everywhere. Well, almost. But, uh, yeah, and the soundtrack. first play was a little over eight hours. Yeah. And the uh, big shout out to the soundtrack, Olivier de Vrier. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry being in America. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I that think notwithstanding, that he, he, this, he's done great work. This won multiple awards. And yeah, the soundtrack did really well. And then, I mean, also, you can buy it uh, definitely on Amazon. Uh, and then I, I keep meaning to check iTunes, but... I definitely know it's on Amazon. Um, it's a great soundtrack, so you can definitely check that out as is. Or, but uh -huh. it, it does. This is one of those. I mean, as a soundtrack is supposed to, it really accentuates the on-screen yeah. uh, mood and, and feeling. And listening to it is is satisfying on its own. But really, how it's used in the game, with a lot of these intentional glitchy effects, and um, yeah. I don't know. It just makes a very cool world image. Exactly. A, a mental image of, of this world they don't not create it. On another note, have we done any keywords? No. What we can do is give one and then... Yeah, before before the uh, <laughs> credits are over. So and then ask we'll for it and we'll pick a bunch of winners just from the one keyword. So yeah, everybody who's still watching, I'm typing in the chat. Uh, the keyword is going to be lanyards. So uh, <laughs> at some point, just think of this as a randomized drawing. Yeah, we'll ask for that keyword soon. Yeah, we'll ask. Uh, we'll ask before the credits are over, and uh, we'll pick someone to give one of these lanyards to. I got caught up in the game. This this, this is on me. There it is. Oh, that too Composed, good. orchestrated, produced, and adapted by. There you go. So just remember that keyword for uh, a little later. But oh, so uh, another news: if you check PSN's store today, and it has already updated, I believe today is the day that um, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite goes up for free on PSP and Vita. Obviously, not the most recent Monster Hunter game, but still a great one and definitely worth the free download. Um, plus, if you play on Vita, you get a bigger screen. <laughs> And you, yeah, I think there is a way to map the D-pad to the right analog stick, which means hmm. you can uh, you can play without having to use a claw, which is a first for free. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Like even if you've already played the crap out of the game, I think it's worth just having on the Vita. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'll go download we it. We should all download. I, I'm it. a PlayStation Plus member. That so. is the game. That is the game that got me into Monster Hunter. Man, what a name. 
Emmanuel Bonami. <laughs> so eventually we will be in these credits somewhere. Probably way down the bottom. I once got an E-manual from Konami. Huh? <laughs> I should have said five seconds earlier. <laughs> there he is again. Good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you see games all have E-manuals now. That's the gist of the joke. They have E-manuals. Yeah. They do now, though. Yeah. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I thought you said they didn't. They do. Oh, they do. The, the joke is Konami being a... As long as the joke was accurate. Means, that's yes. what I was concerned about. Okay. Uh, it's. I'll still reserve judgments and not laugh. Never fear. Yeah. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Are we live? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's way funnier when it's uh, factually correct. That's true. Ha. Who are the voice actors in the French of the Iron Age? I think that might be coming up. I don't know. I think that he did French. That was Emmanuel. Oh, was it? He's already a legend in this stream. Jeez. Think we'll ever meet him? I hope so. I think the uh, time has passed. <laughs> I haven't been to Neo Paris yet. I was thinking of going for my 100th birthday and getting my memory remixed. Yeah. So what, 2084 is when the game takes place. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would be 103 years old, so, uh, don't think I'm gonna make it, guys. Well, by then they'll have, like, some kind of tube that takes you there. What? Or channel. But the rate I'm eating Doritos and Mountain Dew, <laughs> I, I don't think so. Oh, because you'll be dead, I see. Yeah, that's what I'm gotcha. saying. 103. I thought you just meant you wouldn't be up to the travel. Well, if by some miracle I'm alive in 2084, mm -hmm. I probably am not going to be fit to uh, fly across the ocean. Yeah, well, what if they have some kind of hyperspace tube device? Uh, if you think hey. my frail body can withstand it, then... Uh, They'll have a way. Man, I remember some of these people. The other Greg. Yes. He's a, he's a friendly face around here. <laughs> Just talked to David Chrislip today. All these people. I'm in a band with one of these people. <laughs> try and guess which one, guys. Let's keep it going. We'll be down here near the bottom. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's see here. There's old Mark Rodriguez. Yep. There we go. Some people on point here. Some of you guys might be familiar with Christopher Smith, our customer support guy. He shows up in Unity once in a while. Or actually, frequently. I think we can give each of these people a lanyard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Someone doing the backwards thing. You guys might know Tristan. He's been on a bunch of our streams. He was on our Strider stream recently. And, and going back to Dragon's... All, all of our Dragon's Dogma stream. Or almost all of them. And, uh, Okami HD. Okami HD. There's a typo. <laughs> yep. It's, uh, I've pointed that out, but... Hey, there we are. Well. And all of us, at one point or another, were assigned to this title, so... Yeah, it did, uh, did make the rounds. For once, this listing makes sense. And the old sissy change. Oh, man. Might want to change that. <laughs> All right, so do you just want to give everybody lanyard here? Uh, well, we can't. I, don't uh, know I we guess we don't have it. enough to do all of this, so uh, we'll do the usual roll the dice. Let's see who we got here. <laughs> mm. 
me do the, uh, where, where'd, my, where'd my plug in go? So for the lanyard, uh, actually, wow, Toshin. We're writing you a message. There you go, Toshin. I mean, we... Yes, he's a mod in the chat. This was, but... It's th random selection. The computer not. has voted. Plus, he's done a bang-up job keeping you guys in line. Yeah, you rowdy <laughs> sort. I'm sorry, ye rowdy lot? Ye rowdy... What's the French? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that ended it. But don't worry, we have so many streams. Well, and I think we can. Get, I mean, uh, you want to do a few rolls? We can give. We have. We definitely have. How many do we have here? Like five. Eight. Yeah. Just message a few people. Uh, let's see. Let me hit the. Uh, oh, pardon me. Uh, com uh What? What? What is this? Command odds. There it is. Command odds are in there. Uh, and if for some reason you don't want one of these lanyards, uh, you shouldn't have typed your <laughs> name in. You shouldn't have typed the keyword. And uh, let's see. The third one here we'll do Smelloscope Lol. So... That's, we'll do three, we'll call it a day there. And just so you know, th these are hand-typed messages, by the way. These are not your usual, I'm gonna write one and then copy-paste. I bother to type each of them out. I'm guilty. And waste precious seconds doing this. <laughs> but yeah, um that's Remember Me, guys. We highly recommend you play it for yourselves. And, it's a great game. Uh, we do have more streaming coming up this week. We have Throwback Thursday, which we still haven't revealed what game we'll be doing or thought of one. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but we'll, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll put it up on the Unity blog on Thursday morning. Yeah. Uh, and then is there anything else this week? Not on our end, but Capcom Fighters, I mean, uh, final round uh, this weekend. Um, just tied into all of the fighting game stuff, so there won't, I don't think there will be a, f a ch uh, Capcom Fighters on stream Friday. on Friday. Mm -hmm. At least but not from here, but they it. may do it. Uh, I seem to be sinking. Uh, they won't be doing it from here, but they may have uh, some kind of stream. But I mean, we'll be doing Monster Hunter Mondays next Monday, and then uh, you know we may hop on the stream Friday since uh, Nidel won't something be else, in here yeah. to take it up. So we'll maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll pop in and do something else. But we should come up with some other. Uh, game to kind of play through over several days like we did this on Tuesdays and Wednesdays so we'll, we'll figure some out I'll think of something I can play and take the weight off of your shoulders <laughs> um, I've been wanting to do Mega Man X4 playthrough for a while yes uh, actually Maximilian was just playing it the other day on his uh, yeah, it's, a great yeah, it's, game. it's a great game uh, maybe a high point for the X series yeah it is um, I didn't play it till way late in the game but because I think like a lot of people I checked out after X2 and then forgot and then realized how much I missed and yeah. then played it. It was like, oh my god, it's like the best one. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll be back, all y'all. And congratulations to our Lanyard winners as well. Um, That'll do. Look for them in the mail. All right, see you guys later. See you guys.